Hey guys, Megan Lynn here, spiritual empress in the house. What up, what up? It's um, early in the morning and I just dropped my daughter off at school, but I'm having a very interesting conversation right now with one of my friends. Um, and I just wanted to do a Aquarius, um, I guess why we're arrogant, but we really are not arrogant. <laughs> um, I don't know if anybody thinks like, a lot of people have this misperception that Aquarius is our arrogance or that, you know, we think we're better than everyone or, um, so I'm just going to like give the real truth about Aquarius. Um, Aquarius has always been through a lot of shit and I've mentioned this in my other videos too. Um, and I'm sorry, I look like what's more, what's, what's less arrogant about turning my camera on at three o'clock in the morning, sans makeup. That's what I'm doing now. <laughs> no makeup, no shower, no nothing. Um, like what's less arrogant than that? But the thing that people don't realize about Aquarius and why um, why they think that we're arrogant um, or they think that we're know-it-alls, some of them are. I mean, like a lot of Aquariuses can be annoying. Um, you know, they can, um, you know, think that they, they know everything, be very stubborn, things like that. But um, this is a, let's say the brutal truth about Aquarius is that, um, we do know a lot better than most people. And the thing with Aquarius is, like I said, where the God complex comes from is that they've been grown, growing up their whole lives, they've been taught that they're weird or that they're different um, for knowing the things that they know, for doing the things that they do. Um, I know people used to think I was weird because on, at lunch I would go read, um, I would go research, I would go do things like that. How do you think that we got to the place that we are to where we know all this shit? <laughs> like, um, so we know all this shit and nobody listens to us because they think that we're weird and so, um, you know, maybe our voice isn't validated or we're not heard or things like that. Um, so what a lot of times Aquarius does is we dumb ourselves down. Um, we dumb ourselves down around a lot of people. Um, I've been told that um, when I go to do things, people will say, oh, look at you walking around like your shit don't stink. And I'm like, what are you talking about? I'm literally just walking quickest route from A to B. Um, <laughs> like to me, that's what makes sense. But, um, people see it as a, you know, a walk of entitlement, or I think it's just like a presence we have. Um, but what things that I do to like, I have to dumb myself down around people. And I'm really, really getting frustrated with having to do that because I've been doing it for 30 years. Oh, you're too much this, or, you know, maybe if you could act more this way, like an Aquarius doesn't human. Okay. <laughs> like we are not humans. We do not conduct ourselves in a way that's like everybody else. And people just need to accept that. So, um, for people thinking that we're arrogant, I can say it, I have to dumb myself down around people. I have to walk slower around people. I have to, um, you know, I can't, if I express the actual thoughts that were going on in my head, it would fucking blow their mind. So it's not an arrogant sort of thing. We just have a lot of knowledge, um, things we do care about. Uh, we care about helping people. Um, and that's the funny thing too. And it's also the fucked up thing about being Aquarius is that, um, we help a lot of people. That's something that we really do care about. And we care about all people and animals and the planet and things like that. We're true humanitarians and we really do care. And so the things that we care about end up being the things that kill us. Um, so, you know, it's, you know, maybe we're giving too much of ourselves. And you'll, if you guys start reading about Aquarius, um, oftentimes Aquarius doesn't know when to say no and when to not give. Um, that says something about the fucking Aquarius nation. <laughs> like... We are very giving. We can be very loving people. We're very loyal people. Um, we're, we can be very introspective. And I'm talking about the evolved Aquarius. Um, what we are not is arrogant. And that's what I think a lot of... You get the low-level Aquarius that is arrogant because they do think... They do know a lot. Um, just so you guys know, even the low-level Aquarius, they know a lot. And that's why they're know-it-alls and that's why they have all those negative traits. But um, an actual truly loving Aquarius is not arrogant. When they say something, listen to them. When they want to give advice, hear them. Um, because they are saying it um, from a different, it's coming from a higher level. Um, Aquarius is the closest to, to um, 
to heaven, the heavens. Um, if you think about it, I mean, we're the air signs, the true air signs, um, and we're the masters of the air. Um, and with these 3D vibrations raising, um, you're going to see a lot of them rise to power right now. Um, but what you should not do is try to manage an Aquarius, um, especially right now. Um, I mean, I don't mean as in actual managers, but like, do not try to tell an Aquarius that they need to act a different way or be a different way because the magic is in the way that they are. Um, but they are anything but arrogant. They say things because they know them. <laughs> they're not, they're not saying it to put on a show or something like that. It's just really funny to me when people think that Aquarius is arrogant. Um, I don't agree with it at all. Um, I mean, there's, and, and it's funny because I was going to do it like, why we're so humble. <laughs> um, Aquarius has thoughts. So you guys got to think Aquarius sees the big picture in things. Um, so, and it was like my friend said, and it's 100% true. And I was like, holy shit, you like read my soul. Um, Aquarius sees the end goal. They see the big picture. Um, so that's how they're good at dissecting and breaking down and solving problems is that they see, um, it in its entirety. They do not micromanage the situation and, um, usually waste time on little details. Um, they usually don't do that. Um, and that's because they can see the end goal. So, um, if you get in business with an Aquarius, they can see the end goal from 10 million miles away. Um, that's why we're such good chess players. Like we can see the moves 10 moves away. Um, so it's, for us, we, we understand what's important in that exact moment that's going to benefit us 10 million miles away. Um, so you can imagine the dissatisfaction. And it's funny because Rich had said this too. Um, the dissatisfaction, once you actually get what you want, people ask like, oh, you're so humble and you're so, you know, you got all the way up to here and you act just like everybody else because we're just people. We are just everybody else. And it's because we've had this vision for so long, 10 million miles away, um, that once we receive it, it's no big deal because we knew it was going to happen because we knew if we made certain moves and we were patient that we would succeed. Now, when we get the success, it, it's not a, a humbleness as in a, we knew it was going to happen and we're, we're dissatisfied. We're already on to the next project. So, um, for anybody who thinks that Aquarius is like arrogant, like about our accomplishments or anything like that, it's quite the opposite. And I, I think it's very important that people know that. Um, it's just a, a, a pure, I can say dissatisfaction or we're already on to the next um, when it comes to projects and things like that. But yeah, I just thought I'd do a little bit of a rant. I look like complete crap today. Um, I didn't even shower yesterday. This is impressing myself, actually. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you guys have any questions about Aquarius or anything like that, about how arrogant we are, we're not arrogant. We just know the moves, 10 moves ahead of the game, 10 steps ahead of the game. And it's not, um, we don't, you know, if you're an evolved Aquarius, we're not doing it to be arrogant. Um, when we say we told you so, it's because we told you so. <laughs> it's not because we, um, you know, we're it's because people didn't listen to Aquarius for so long. Um, I think people should listen to them more and not try to, um, do not hinder an Aquarius or do not try to box an Aquarius. We just, we don't operate like other humans do. Um, and we never will and we shouldn't. Um, and it's because we, we try really hard you guys. And I can tell you around other signs, um, I'm, I'm, gratefully and intuitive and a projector to where I connect. Um, I can pretty much connect with anybody on any level. Um, but if you try to like stifle their talent or stifle their, uh, their creativity or their vision, um, it's very, very negative and harmful to the Aquarius because it's very hard for them to, it's very hard for them to monitor it themselves. It's just a natural thing. And it's the thing that, um, it's the energy that Aquarius grounds here. All air signs ground a very vibrant creativity here. So, um, basically that's why you're going to get, like, if you get air signs that are very, um, I'm shaky when I'm being hindered. Um, when somebody's telling me to act differently or speak different, differently, 
or maybe you should say things more like this. Um, the way that I conduct myself is the way that that person needs to be talked to. I don't know how better way to explain it. The way that I'm talking to the person is because I'm tuning into them and this is the, this is the voice, this is the tone, this is the words that they need in the moment. So, um, yeah, I'm not being arrogant or walking around like my shit don't stick. <laughs> like, um, yeah, so if you guys have any questions about Aquarius or anything like that or being, um, being arrogant, we're really not. Um, like I said, it's more of a when we do get big accomplishments, we're humble about it because we understand the bigger picture in life. And the bigger picture in life is we're just a person. We're not any more special than anybody else. So um, I love you guys. If you have any questions, comment, like, share, anything like that, um, feel free to. Um, also, I haven't been saying this, but my other friend that uh, got on here, um, my email is wmegan939 at gmail.com. I love you guys, and we'll talk soon. Bye.